Welcome to day one, light energy, when my teacher gave to me a candle of light energy. Michael Faraday, his first public lecture was on the combustion of the candle. Because a candle is pretty amazing. If you think about it, a candle starts as a solid, turns into a liquid, and into a gas. But in today's 12 Days of Science Clause, we hope to show you a few more things, like this candle right here. It's in the candlestick. It's cylindrical. But is it really a candle? Join us as we explore light. Michael Faraday invented the dynamo. He discovered when you spin copper wire inside a magnetic field, it creates an electromagnetic energy. Thomas Edison was the pioneer of searching for that perfect filament for light bulbs. He wanted to take that electrical energy and change it into light energy. He tried everything from bamboo to human hair until he finally found it with that carbonized cotton. But I wonder, did he ever try a pickle? So we have this pickle as our filament. The electrical energy is going to travel through the wire into the pickle and we're gonna see if it can act as its own filament. And right now, the sodium ions are starting to get excited. You can see some action happening. And then finally, we have light and those sodium ions are showing off that yellow color coming out right there. Wow, what a great way to have a pickle lamp. So when we talk about light, that's one form of energy. There are many forms, mechanical, chemical, sound, thermal, electromagnetic. Let's show you how I take my chemical energy from the food I ate to now kinetic energy as I strike these two balls. No light, but I hear sound. I wonder what will happen if I strike this aluminum and see if we can make it combust, maybe get some light and maybe some sound. Wow. That was cool. What I've got here is a mixture of potassium chlorate and sugar. I'm going to add one drop of sulfuric acid. It's going to decompose it into chloric acid and potassium sulfate and create what I like to call white fire. Check it out. We've learned a lot about light energy in this short video. Wouldn't Thomas Edison love to have a light bulb like this that just comes on on its own? <laughs> what the problem he had that we still have today is light bulbs have a vacuum inside and when they get hot when I turn this on you can see that it gives off heat and it gives off light. About 40 percent of the energy is wasted as heat and the trouble is we have to find something special to light up. So what I've done here is this light bulb, I've taken the gas off, I've taken the vacuum off, and when I turn it on, it's only gonna last a second because that tungsten exposed to air will catch fire. And this light bulb will be done. Ready? Watch carefully. So you see, it lasted less than a second and burned completely out. But what if we could find a way to keep the oxygen away from it? I don't know, <laughs> Thomas Edison probably didn't have liquid nitrogen, but this time I'm going to put this inside of liquid nitrogen and then I'm going to ignite it, turn it on, we'll see what happens. Ready? Here we go. Immerse it and on. That is so cool. No oxygen is getting to the filament, so we have light. Of course, it would be hard to keep <laughs> liquid nitrogen light bulbs in your house. And what do you think is going to happen when I pull it out? The oxygen is going to cause the tungsten to ignite. Ready? Here we go. I hope you enjoyed our first day of 12 Days of Science Clause. See you tomorrow.